Welcome everybody to a tutorial on the free SkySiv Beam Calculator. So the SkySiv Beam Calculator can be accessed at skysiv.com forward slash free dash beam dash calculator. Otherwise you can find it under the free tools menu on our nav bar at skysiv.com. Uh, so this tool has been around for a few years now. Um, it's had almost 1.9 million sols. So it is a really, really reliable, really accurate tool, but it's also really easy to use and very quick. So I'm just going to give a quick demonstration of how we can build a simply supported beam um, and get the uh, reaction results, the shear force diagram, bending moment diagram, and deflection results as well within a really a minute. Um, so I'm just going to take you through a simple case um, and just introduce you to the functionality of this free tool. So first thing we're going to want to do is uh, just select our force and length units. So if you're in the imperial system, we've got uh, kip and pounds. If you're on the metric, we've got newtons, kilonewtons. And likewise for units, you can do feet, inch, millimeters, meters. So you can work on different size beams. Um, and then with the sections, you can choose between imperial and metric. Um, I'm going to stick to imperial uh, for this demonstration. And, um, but just showing you how you can actually change them before you go ahead and build your structure. So I'm going to go, the uh, first step would be just to add a beam. So we just kind of work our way down these uh, options. So first thing I'm going to do is add a beam. And I'm just going to make it a 30 foot spam beam. And then uh, next would be add a couple of supports. So you can choose between pin, roller, or fixed support just by clicking which one you want. Um, I'm going to put a pin support at zero. So it's just saying zero from the uh, x equals zero. And this is uh, my x coordinate system down here. And another support, I'll put a roller at say, 15. So let's, I'll put it in the mid-span, let's do like an overhanging beam. Uh, next, I'm going to add a couple of point loads. And just again, you want to put in the location of where that point load is. So I'm going to put 30 feet to put it right at the end. <clears throat> and I'll do two kip feet, uh, sorry, two kip force in the downwards direction. You could do upwards um, under the SkySiv beam software, which is the paid, the premium version. Um, you could do angled forces, but for now I'm just going to stick to a downward force of two kip. Uh, and I'll just add a distributed load as well. So I'm going to maybe do it two feet from uh, either end. So I'm going two feet to 28 feet. And I'm going to do, it's going to start at one kip foot and end at three kip foot. And we'll just show that in the diagram. So it's starting at one kip foot, ending at three kip foot. And I've put in, uh, the start is at two foot and the end is at 28 foot across the span of the member. Um, you can add a moment as well, um, so in either direction. And also, again, under the paid version, you can add a hinge um, to break up that those sections or to break up that uh, span. Uh, another great thing you can do, so I've, I've kind of structured up my model here a little bit, but maybe I want to edit it. Uh, everything's clickable within the diagram, so I can just move this roll support simply by clicking it, moving it to 20 foot. It just makes me work a lot easier and a lot quicker just if I can click each of these elements. Um, I can also edit and delete from the table below. So I've got all of, uh, a kind of summary of all of our elements within the beam structure, which you can click edit or delete um, through the table. So I've uh, built out my structure, uh, I've supported it, I've loaded it. If I solved it now, I would get my reaction forces, my shear force diagram and my uh, bending moment diagram. But I'm going to take it a step further and actually add in um, some section properties to this beam member. Uh, so I'm going to hit add edit section. And by doing this, it's actually going to give me the parameters I need to solve for deflection as well and get this deflection curve. And so it's going to ask me for two main criteria. The first is uh, the Young's modulus, which I can load from my material table. So I'm just going to choose structural steel, which is 29,000 KSI. And I could change this if I wanted. So, I mean, you can do... Uh, custom materials just by changing that input and again moment of inertia um, I'm just going to load it so we've got Australian tables British European United States I'm going to load a US AISC W shape so I'll do something like 12 by 35 again under the free version you could build up your own sections um, but for now I'm just going to use the, the input given to me from the AISC tables so submit that and I'm ready to solve. So you could really build this out within a minute really to get your um, your modeling done, your loading done <coughs> and the section properties as well. So once I'm ready to solve, I just hit the green solve button 
and it's going to immediately show me my report of uh, all the different results that I'm looking at. So I've got my free body diagram, which is giving me my reaction forces. Um, and I can see I've got two upward forces, one of 6.3 kip, one of 47.6 kip. Um, and again, you could look at the hand calculations for reaction forces, uh, but that's again under the SkySieve Beam software, which you can upgrade to any at any time. Um, just visit skysieve.com forward slash pricing if you'd like to learn more about that. And then finally, we've got the shear force diagram. So obviously, this is a really important diagram for engineers. And uh, everything on this is uh, click and draggable. So you can actually move things around if you can't see. Um, often, you might get a clutter of information, something like that happening. You can click and drag so you can move that label around and really identify what those results are. Um, same with the bending moment diagram. And it's showing me my max and mins um, along the way of the members, as well as any uh, critical areas. For instance, um, that's the start of a... A distributed load it's showing me my uh, bending moment force at that point um, and again under the paid version you could put in any location along the, the length of the member and it will demonstrate what that is what that result is and then finally you've got a deflection curve as well so this is an elastic curve and I can see uh, the max and min deflections across each of the spans so I can see this is uh, 0.13 inch and this one's 0.86 inch uh, obviously really important uh, information for an engineer and I can also see the shape of that deflection. And finally, just rotational displacement. Um, again, just looking at the max and mins and at the different locations, such as supports, um, what, what the slope is of the, of the beam at that location. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other re um, results you can look at, like uh, the 3D renderer or the stress profiles um, available under the SkySieve Beam software, um, which again, if you're interested, you can upgrade at any time. Always feel free to use the free tool um, and feel free to make recommendations as well. Um, you can always go back and then edit things and then resolve. So, you know, maybe I want to go back to 15 and remodel it and see what the results are now. Um, so, it's really good for iterations and kind of early stage design. Um, but yeah, feel free to send through any feedback. If you have any questions, um, our email is support at skysiv.com and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.